1979, Vincent made one of the more unique projects in his entire career, in that it co-starred his new wife, Coral Brown. It was a TV series called Time Express, a sort of fantasy island set on wheels in which Vincent and Coral play married couple Jason and Margaret Winters, the hosts who usher guests back in time via their magical train to revisit a dramatic moment in those persons' lives. Only four episodes aired on CBS before the series was canceled. It will be our great pleasure to help you in any way that we possibly can. Vincent filmed another interesting made-for-TV project in 1979 as well, an hour-long horror anthology movie called Once Upon a Midnight Scary that also aired on CBS. Price hosted the program, which consisted of three short films based on works of literature. The Ghost Belonged to Me by Richard Peck, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, and The House with a Clock in Its Walls by John Belairs. In addition, Price plays a vampire in all the host segments, one of the very few times he played a vampire, oddly enough, in his long career. I've been feeling a little run down lately. I should change my diet. But that's impossible, I'm afraid. This special was aimed toward children and wrapped with Price recommending each book, along with Dracula, as recommended reading material for viewers. Well, I really have to go now. I have to be home before dawn. Perhaps you would like to come with me. We could grab a quick bite. <laughs> Vincent's final film role of the 1970s was the quirky comedy Scavenger Hunt. Honestly though, it wasn't much of a part. Vincent had a very quick cameo at the beginning of the film as eccentric and elderly inventor Milton Parker who dies even before the opening credits are finished rolling. Oh, dear. Well, looks like I beat the inventor at his own game. Mr. Parker, don't play games, Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker? Mr. Parker? Oh, Mr. Parker. Afterwards, he gathers a room full of people, from servants to family members. In the will, he promises to leave his estate to the winner of a scavenger hunt, with the fortune going solely to whoever finds the most objects on the list. Wacky antics naturally ensue. This was a star-studded picture featuring Tony Randall, Scatman Carruthers, Cloris Leachman, Roddy McDowell, Dirk Benedict, and many others. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up. Yeah. Uh, uh, I film is high energy and played totally for laughs and prices only in the first minute or so of the film. The 1970s were an interesting decade for Price and one of big changes both personally and professionally. He and Mary Grant were divorced and Vincent remarried for the third time to the flamboyant Coral Brown. He stayed busy on the film front throughout the decade, even though the quality and number of films began to decline toward the end of the 1970s. He also appeared in numerous television programs in the 1970s, including episodes of Columbo, Night Gallery, The Carol Burnett Show, Ellery Queen, The Brady Bunch, The Love Boat, The Bionic Woman, and The Mike Douglas Show, among others. And in 1977, Vincent launched one of his last great non-film projects, a critically acclaimed one-man play about Oscar Wilde called Diversions and Delights, which he would continue to perform on stage until 1982. 
So be sure and join me back here next week for more of the fantastic films of Vincent Price as we take a look at the 1980s, a decade that would begin to see Vincent's career start to wind down, although he still had plenty of tricks up his sleeve and would continue to work right up until the very end.